How is everybody doing today? My name is Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. We're back today and we're finally reviewing a whiskey I've been wanting to get to for a very long time. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch A120. Let's get into it. Now, every release of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, I look forward to, honestly. One of my favorite bourbons, it's the one bourbon that I'm okay paying above retail for. Don't tell Heaven Hill that, though. Um, I actually had a question today. Someone asked, how much would you pay for Elijah Craig Barrel Proof? I can get one for 80 I said, 80 bucks. I would, I'd probably pay it. You know, I would. A120, I have not tried yet. So, three times a year, Heaven Hill puts out Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. An A batch, B batch, and C batch. They're released in January, May, and September. Now, this is the A120. The A signifies the first batch, one being the month, January, and then 20 being the year. So the new batch that's coming out very soon is gonna be the B520. I had to think about that for a second. But that's gonna be the May release, which that's now. So keep an eye out for, for the new batches coming out of 2020. Um, Michigan's always so late to the game getting these bottles. So I finally got a bottle of the A batch, which showed up just in the last couple weeks. I've got to get into it. You know, I've got to get into it. A batches in the past for me have been hit or miss. Um, it's hard to really find a bad Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, honestly, in my opinion. But a lot of good reviews have been out there about the A batch. So I'm very curious to see how it is. This is a hot bottle. A hot, hot bottle. 68.3%. So we're pushing hazmat on this, 136.6 proof. This does have a 12 year age statement on the side of the bottle, which Elijah Craig Braille proof still carries. And non-chill filtered makes all the difference. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I did put out my Larceny Barrel proof review. Now they're also doing the same format, but they're gonna be releasing three a year. So Larceny A120, I was very disappointed in. Um, I really hope those batches improve because I was not a huge fan of the first one. It was so sweet and um, Still had a little bit of that graininess, even for a weeded bourbon and whatnot. So, I I didn't appreciate it, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll see. You know, um, Legend Craig Barrel Proof, like I said, normally does not disappoint. So I'm I'm excited to get into it. Let's go right into color here. Nice dark, viscous in the glass. This pushes mahogany every every batch of this does. I mean, just look at the bottle. It looks like it's black on camera. Um. Cool. Almost like a, a dark red amber tint to it as well, but it's just sticking to the side of the glass. Just sticking. Whew, let's go into the nose on this. Whew, all right, that will, that'll put some hair on your balls. That will. So deep, intense, rich. You know, um, pretty much every Logic Creek Barrel Proof I've reviewed in the past, it's, it's, it's classic Heaven Hill, just amplified to a whole nother level. You're getting awesome, deep, rich caramel. Some dark fruits, but that toasted almond is what comes through a lot for me. A lot of brown sugar. A lot of baking spices. Um, more like a nutmeg baking spice than clove. Um, in the past, one of the three batches, the batches vary. So I personally have loved the C batches of previous year's releases, the 7, 18, and 19. I'm hoping 20 lives up to the to the C batch hype that I that I enjoy. Um, but each expression tends to give me something sticking out more than another. So releases have maybe really heavy oak forward, you know, and then the next release is going to be super super sweet. So um, this one so far on the nose is is smells pretty balanced. The oak is absolutely present, but being a barrel proof whiskey. No surprise with that um, that oak coming through. So, all right, let's give it a sip. Cheers, everyone. Woo, baby! First sip of the day. Honestly, for first sip of the day, though, it did not drink almost 140 proof. Now it's setting in a little bit, though. Setting in that awesome rye spice slash alcohol burn taking over in the back of the palate. I have to do another quick sip here. 
One thing I love about most Elijah Craig Barrel Proof batches I've had in the past, it doesn't give you that bitter, astringent drying oak. You know, a lot of older aged whiskeys, I mean 12 years, plus it just gets to that bitter oak where it just dries you out, or it feels like you're just sometimes chewing on a raw piece of wood or something. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof never does that. I think that has to do with the non-chill filtering. I think it has to do with the, the, the sweetness that comes through on these as well. You know, everything I talked about on the nose is coming through on the palate. Hang on. Holy crap, that's so damn good. It's so deep, rich, barrel char, caramel, vanilla, but it's like a, it's like a deep toasted charred vanilla, you know, or charred caramel. Almost like you took a caramel, a Werther's caramel, and you just threw it on, threw it on the grill. I mean, that's weird to say, but I'm getting a little bit of smokiness coming through on this, actually. All right, I got, this is a lot of sips I've been doing, but I want to do one more sip. Honestly, I even got a little bit of leather and tobacco coming through on this. I don't get that in every batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So a lot of different tasting notes come through. Um, I want to try this next to the A119 of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof and see how it, how it holds up. Now, bear in mind, this bottle has been open much longer than this bottle. This bottle was open about a week ago. This one's been probably five, six months. You know, um, A119 is giving me a lot more oak, and it's more that bitter drying oak. Yeah. The A120 is completely amplified. Wonderful, wonderful nose. Deep, rich, and complex, man. That's what my wife calls me. Minus about three of those things. Still a fantastic bourbon, but I'm getting a lot more oak presence on the palate. A lot more. Um, it's not drying me out, like it's not astringent, astringent, but it's definitely more bitter oak than the A120. A120's got more sweetness. You know, more sweetness, better balance of the oak and sweetness for my palate personally. If you like a more oak forward bourbon, you may prefer the A119. But what I love about the Elijah Craig Braille Proof is the amplified bourbon notes, baking spices, a little bit of that oak, but caramel, vanilla, brown sugar. That's what this is, and it's awesome. Um, both good, both worth the price point to me. You know, these whiskeys, for me, state minimum is $59.99 all day, every day, and buy multiples if you can at that price. Um, like I said, someone asked me on Instagram, you know, 80 bucks, can I, should I get it? I said, you know, it's the one I would pay above retail for. I would, you know, I wouldn't push secondary market prices these days, since they're pushing 100 on some places, but pretty close. I mean, I think Elijah Curry Braille Proof could hold up to, definitely hold up to Stag Juniors. I probably prefer it to, to most Stag Junior batches, honestly, uh, for my palate, personally. Um, but maybe push some BTAX if it's one of the, um, like a weak BTAC expression. I don't know. I did the George T. Stag versus the Stag Juniors blind. And George C. Stag still won for me. You know, it blew it out of the water. So it's not easy to, to push BTAC. But this proof, the specs on this bottle, pick it up. Trust me, just pick it up if you can. Getting good with your shop owners because this is coming around. I'm, I'm finding more bottles now, even though it's showing up late in Michigan. It's popping up more often, which I appreciate. So I hope that continues to be the trend. And I'm really excited for the next two releases of both of these. This and, and Larceny Barrel Proof. So... Pick one up if you can. It's some good stuff. Thank you so much for joining me for the review today. If you like these types of videos, please do hit the like button and subscribe button. Um, it helps grow the channel a lot and uh, helps get the word of whiskey out, which we all want, you know. Have to give, of course, a quick thank you to my patrons. Awesome new patron growth and the support you guys show to me is just amazing. Thank you so much. 
Um, it really means a lot. If you want to join my Patreon, I've got some awesome samples. We're doing giveaways, a lot of really cool stuff going on over there. So check it out. One other thing I just launched is my website, so bourbonsane.com. Honestly, it's it's my shop for things you want to get, like challenge coins, um, t-shirts, new Glen Cairns, of course. But more importantly than that, I'm starting to do more news and reviews. So anytime there's breaking news in the industry, I'm trying to get the article out there, spread the word, and just kind of talk about it a little bit. And one thing I do different than other platforms I've seen or other people who put out you know, whiskey news is I like to give my own input on stuff. So my own two cents. So for example, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. You know, if I said, hey, new batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is coming out, I would talk about, well, you know, is it going to be as good as this batch or that batch? Or is it actually worth the price point? You know, like I did one about Weller. Is Weller worth the price point? You know, why are they putting out another release when they could be doing, making, you know, increasing the stocks of the stuff they already have? So just an example, but I like giving my own two cents. I think it gives me something a little bit different. So I hope you guys like that. Please do check it out. Um, if you if you want to keep up with the, the new articles, the new whiskey reviews that are going on over there, please do put your name and email down and you'll get notified when I do put out a new review. So I appreciate all you hanging out today. I'll see you very soon. We've got another review coming up very soon and my Battle of the Bourbon series, best barrel proof on the market. Yes, it's happening. Stay insane, everyone.